Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, a quick, fresh update on the URNM. Uh, we're getting the pa the past two days has been quite decent for URNM. So we are going to look into are we out of the woods or where are we in time and what should be what should we be looking for. Um, as always, here guys, follow me on Twitter, follow me on YouTube, and yes, I have a a private Twitter that you know. Uh, also, if you're a paid member on 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 YouTube, you will get access to that where we post. Uh, more detailed entries uh, and some some of the better setups will be will be posted there. Also, they will be, I will go through them on the YouTube channel. Uh, so they will be posted both on YouTube but also on the Twitter one. Check it out if it is something for you. Um, so yeah, let's see where we are in time regarding the URNM. The last week we did a lot of you know day to day um, analysis and then. Once we started to break down, and then we, uh, I stopped doing it for two days, but now we are getting to some interesting points here. So let's see where we are in time. Some brief, brief history here. This is the 2021 high, very important level. As you can see here, we broke down heavily uh, last week. That was a major blow, actually, uh, here in the short term, at least. Long term, I'm still insanely bullish, but that breakdown there, mega candle, on the weekly, not the, the best view, really. So what is happening now? Uh, we will be on the daily. We might zoom in on the one hourly. But in uh, but in essence here, we have that, not the, the highest angle on that wedge, but we are breaking down, as you can see here. We came all the way down from here, breaking down through all the support. No bits more or less. The, the sellers were definitely more in control. And then... We found some sort of bottom here, and now we're retesting. We're retesting the wedge from the bottom side. And very standard. Uh, and usually, you see that retest, and then you can roll over. Um, but that's also the case that this is a false breakdown. We have come a long way down. So maybe maybe this is a false breakdown. But again, for now, it is a retest. And you, you can see here we're starting to get some, some sellers here um, today. Uh, oh, you know, at the end of the day here, we're getting some sellers. Looking at the one hourly. Let's see if we can find any clues here. Last time we looked at the 50 minutes, but I think the one hour lease is totally fine. Previously, we had that breakout above the 2021 high where we flagged into the retest. Very, very bullish stuff there. We blasted higher and then came, I think it was the Chemico. The Chemico news uh, came out somewhere here and then we started to dribble, dribble lower. Or was it here? I can't remember. But then we started to dribble down. Uh, that wasn't well received, so Chemico sold off, and obviously Chemico is wading heavily into the ETFs, so they are selling off, uh, selling off as well. Now we have this downtrend here with with some wicks below. Um, it's a parallel channel there. We also have an internal connecting these highs here coming down, and we are breaking that today. So that is a good start. Um, now we have a shorter term possible. I say possible because it's not you know fully made yet. Uh, a neckline here for a potential, a potential one hourly bottoming pattern here. Uh, that would be the ideal scenario. But for me, am I bullish now here in the short term? No, I am not. I want to see the price. First of all, there's a lot of resistance here. Getting above that blue neckline, potential neckline. Uh, this retest of that wedge should not be starting to cool down. That would be really bad short term. We want to get back in and then back above. Um, uh, so we want to get back above the 2021 high and the wedge, really. Uh, so when we're above, let's call it 52, 53, uh, 52, 52 and a half, then I'm saying, all right, this is looking really, really good, especially if we start to confirm above, meaning we are starting to not, you know, just going, uh, we just want to consolidate above, really. And then we can step, uh, we can, we can maybe go higher. But for now, it is still short-term bearish because we are just retesting that wedge from below. Very standard textbook stuff. Uh, so I think if we're lucky, we need to spend maybe one more week uh, to to undo all the damage. Oh, excuse me, to undo all the damage that that we have here. All the resistance here needs to get taken out, and that and that takes some time. So you can see here, maybe into next week, um, Friday next week, I think we can potentially make that bottom here. There's a lot of stuff going on here. So I think we need to be patient still. Uh, I would be insanely surprised if we re if we if we just blast higher, you know, within the next few days. I think we need six, five to seven trading days. And then I think we we know the answer whether we are coming down there or we are finally going up again. So again, 
we're getting a bit of a bounce here. The momentum is definitely strong. RSI, positive divergence. So that there is something in favor. But again, we need the proof. We need to get above that 52, 53. So that is my take here, short term on the URNM. You know, my long term, my long, my long term view on on uranium is uh, is very different from what we're seeing now. I'm hugely bullish long term for uranium miners. So, but anyways, that's the short term stuff. Hope you enjoyed it, guys. And check out the private stuff you want if you wanna if you wanna get more detailed stuff in. So, have a great one, guys. See you. Bye.